protect me and give me an advantage. I believe this is the most important step. That's what my job is. When I went through the coaching analogy, I'm protecting my team and I'm giving my team an advantage. So therefore, I probably should have some concrete evidence of how I do things differently. And I do. So first thing, I'm one of these guys who I don't like signing long-term agreements. And I remember when I looked for a house, as a backstory, when I looked for houses, the agents I used, I left every transaction upset. Unfortunately, I think every agent was out for themselves more than me. So when I got in this business, I said, I'm going to run this business the way I expected a realtor to treat me. And I hope that's very clear when we work together. So the first document I did for the protection and assurance is a document that says, if either one of us don't work well with one another, let's get out of it. So let's call it a handshake agreement with paperwork that follows it. And if you're saying, okay, Drew, you did something where I lost trust in you. Drew, you're not listening to me. Drew, you can't find me the house I'm looking for. If for some reason you feel that way, then we're probably not going to keep moving forward well. So you need to just say, Drew, I want to part ways. Let me release this agreement. And I'll honor that. And vice versa. If we're looking at a lot of houses and I say, okay, I don't think this one will work. Drive by it because every yard you say is too small. This one I can see is 0.15 acres. Please drive by it because I don't think we'll need to even get you inside if you refuse. Or if I ask you to get pre-qualified and you said, I don't need to. I don't want to. I'll do that later. If you're not willing to execute on the suggestions I give you, then I'll probably say, this isn't working for me. Let me out. I can give you suggestions for people to use. You can find someone else. But right now, this just isn't a good business arrangement. So we both have that right. So therefore, it's not this long-term agreement where... I've heard these are the worst complaints I hate hearing in my industry is I signed a paper and I never heard back from my agent or my agent only cared about his commission. He didn't care about me. That's not what our roles are supposed to be. So if you ever feel that way, you're working with the wrong person. Okay, so that's the first part of protection. And then the second part I'm going to go over in the next step when we start talking about offers. Uh, give me an advantage. Uh, now, give me an advantage. Well, first, if we have trust together, that, that's a big item. If I'm looking out for your interest and you know I'm pulling the plug on property I don't like unless you fight for it, that puts you in a pretty good comfort level. But data, there's data out there. I'm going to figure out, okay, all the houses similar to this in the last six months sold for this price. Don't go over this price because you're paying too much. I can tell you... If the house is listed in this neighborhood, it goes for 96% of list price. So we don't need to pay full price here. Or new construction where they fight for full price offers. Maybe I have some ideas on how we can still get you a better deal. So my job is to give you an advantage. And a lot of that comes up when we start getting into the offer stage. So that's the next video.